Hello. So you want to start selling watches on eBay, but you don't know where to start. What you need to do is you need to make an account and then you need to start selling. So a couple of tips, which I've made the mistake with before, is if you're listing a watch, don't ever say it's customized. If you say yes to customization, you don't get the authenticity guarantee. And I sold a watch before, I was like, hold on a minute. It's over 1,500 pounds, and it sold for over 1,500 pounds. That must mean I'm eligible. But no, it's because I said customization. So be wary of that. Another thing, selling on eBay, look out for selling fee sales. I usually get them every other weekend. I don't know if it's different for everyone, but that might be the same schedule. Because the selling fees are like, so like 10%? Stuff that. And with the selling fee sale, you get 80% off, which saves a fortune. And if you're looking to casually flip, then that is the best thing to do because profit is hard to come by nowadays, seeing as what the Tories are doing. So, you know, every little helps, as Tesco says. Another thing is, with your pictures, always show every little detail because if you don't, you'll get a return that says, oh, I didn't see this little scratch that you can't see without a magnifying glass on the listing, so I'm going to have to return, and I'm going to put it down as your fault. Pretty traumatised. Always show clearly everything in the watch. If you don't, you'll get caught out by authenticity guarantee anyway. So, you know, make your images clear. Titles. Make sure you've got every single search term in there. My watch, an instance, you've got Tag Heuer. So it's a Tag Heuer Monza, and then also put, it's a Calibre 36 Zenith El Primero movement. It's great for searching, and people that are looking for the movement, more than the case, so if, say, someone's looking for a Zenith, and they see the Tag Heuer, and it's got a Zenith movement in, they might be interested. Descriptions. Everyone wants to know about the history of the watch. Well, not everyone, but most people. If they're interested, they want to know about the history. So always take the time to write a massive description. Don't make it waffle, but just show that you care for the watch. That's what I look at. Uh, I mean, if I go onto eBay and I'm looking to buy a watch, if it just says, good condition, I'm like, mm. Moving back to pictures, always show every single thing that comes with a watch. So every single piece of paperwork, obviously cover the address, but show every single piece of service history or anything like that and make sure that it's all clarified and they know what they're buying. Now, fair warning, a lot of people are out on the scam at the moment. There's a lot of scumbags around online. So, if you get a message that says, you know, oh, I don't know, you can avoid fees or, or the, the address on my eBay is different to the one I want it sent to. Can you send it to some other address? Give me your PayPal and I'll pay you directly. Don't listen to any of that. Always go through eBay. I've had a couple of times where people wanted me to send a watch to a different place. It's like Zimbabwe or something. Stuff that. 